want to talk about the most common reasons why people miss the net. So if you want to hit the net more often, you want to score more goals, then this video is for you. I've outlined a couple of the biggest problems, the biggest reasons I think people miss the net. And you may be experiencing some of these yourself. The biggest thing is that you become conscious of these mistakes or these bad habits and actually see yourself doing them and then you can correct them and you'll become a lot better shooter. You'll hit the net more often and you'll score more goals. So let's get into them. First one is simply trying to hit the ball way too hard. Okay, you do not have to put a hole in the back of the net for it to count as a goal. And that's exactly what happens. You might hit a rocket of a shot, but if it's you're trying to kill it every single time, you're not gonna be consistent with your shooting, okay? So, especially when you're in close situations or you really wanna make sure that you hit the net, you don't have to hit it as hard. Some of the best shots that I've ever hit in my life are not the ones I've tried to kill the hardest. They're the ones I've focused on just making good contact and having good technique. So number one, don't try to kill the ball every single time. It's much better for you to pick your spot, especially if you're in close range. It's much better for you to pick your spot, put it down in the corner, just like that. Think about the messy, typical goal. Okay, that is much more reliable. You'll score way more often if you get in the habit of doing that. Now, I'm not saying you can't hit the ball hard. I'm just saying you don't have to kill it, okay? Because when you try to kick the ball way too hard, you lose your focus, you lose your control. Okay, so maybe just hit it about 80% and you're gonna be much more likely to get the ball on target, especially when that ball is running away from you. If you are going to hit it hard, make sure you get your body over it, okay? If I can get here and I can get my body positioning over the ball, really make sure that there's no way that ball is going over the net and I can make sure that my body is going towards the net, my follow through is going towards the net, then you can hit it as hard as you want, if that's what you really want. If I can get here, okay? But if that ball is running away from you, if that ball is running away from you, I'll put this on my left. If that ball is running away from you and you're trying to nail it as hard as you can, you're way back here, what do you think is gonna happen, okay? That's what's gonna happen, because there's no control. So that leads me into my second point. Number one, you're trying to hit the ball way too hard. Just hit it about 80%. Focus on good technique and you'll be surprised at how good your shots are. The second one is just what I talked about there, body control, okay? So your body is either back here, you're not getting over the ball enough. I can't control where this ball goes if I hit it here, especially if I'm putting power on it. When I get here, I can control where that ball goes. So number one, you're leaning back. You're not getting over the ball enough or at least central. And number two is the direction that your body faces when you hit the ball. So I talked about this in another video. If I come through the ball and what's a right footer's tendency is to pull it to the left. I hit it and I end up like this with my body, okay? The ball is always going over there. For a left footer, a tendency is to pull it to the right. So I hit it and my body ends up facing this way, okay? And that's over exaggerated. But if you're always pulling it to one side or the other, think about where your body ends up. Okay, so the second mistake is your body positioning. The third mistake is just lack of focus. If you wanna hit a good shot, you need to be focusing on, focusing on everything that you can control. Most people, when they're in this situation, they're not even thinking, they're just panicking. Ah! And it ends up being a shot that they don't really wanna have, okay? So if you want to hit a specific spot, you want to hit the ball with good technique, it comes down to focus. Shooting is so much focus, and especially when you're really tired. You know, you like gone on a run, you cut through three guys, played a one-two, you sprinted up the whole field, and now it's time to shoot and you have just no energy and you just kind of uh, swing at it, okay? It's all about focus. So especially when you're really tired, you need to somehow find that energy for that half a second to really focus on what you're doing. And what I mean by focus is focus on your technique, okay? Be composed, especially if you're in close areas and you have the time to pick a spot. Be composed, think about, okay, where I want it to go, how I'm going to get it there, and just produce that technique. Focus on that technique. All the things we talked about, body over the ball, nice follow through, make sure my body's going where I want it to go, okay? 
and just that mental focus. Make sure you get that ball on target. The last problem, the biggest mistake, people aren't hitting the net consistently enough is because they're not practicing enough. And that's the simple truth. Okay, all these tips, all these videos, they're great, but if you're not getting out to the field and practicing, you're gonna miss the net, especially when you're in high pressure situations. So you need to be practicing shooting in all these different situations with both feet, and you need to do it consistently. The truth is, most people wanna score goals. They wanna hit the net, but the only time they practice shooting is in their game on Sundays. They don't take advantage of every single day of the week. Or you go to your practice and maybe your team does a shooting drill, but how many shots do you actually get? You only get a few shots, okay? So if you wanna be a goal scorer, you need to be getting hundreds of shots every single day, both feet, different situations. So the last reason people miss the net is because they don't practice enough. They're not putting themselves in enough situations to learn and become a better shooter. Sorry about that, my microphone cut out. But to finish, I was talking about the importance of practice. The biggest reason most players miss the net is because they don't practice enough. They don't get out to the field and they don't miss enough shots to learn why they're actually missing. So if you can get out to the field on a consistent basis, or at least make the most of every opportunity you have with your team, with your friends, whenever you have the chance to work on your shooting, it's something you need to work on. And if some of the bad habits that I illustrated or demonstrated in this video today are things that you do, become conscious of them and make sure you don't make the same mistakes again and again. Learn from your mistakes and you're going to become a better player, a better shooter and a better goal scorer. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, give me a thumbs up, please comment below if you have any questions or any other problems with shooting that I can help you with and please share this video with your friends and teammates. I will talk to you tomorrow.